Okay, so maybe you've done part A, hopefully you have done part A of the labs and uh, maybe you follow the second video which shows you how to do part B as well. Part A uh, was the first calculator that we did which was figuring out the temperature in Fahrenheit and then giving it back in Celsius. Part B was the area of a trapezoid and uh, we found the uh, formula in Google and then applied it to Python. In part C, you can do the area of a circle, ellipse, equilateral, triangle, cone, sphere, arbitrary triangle, you know, just simple math again. And it's just very basic, but once again, not a math class. So how do we find out the area of a circle? Well, I know that back in elementary, and that was a long time ago, uh, I seem to remember pi r squared, maybe something like that. But at any rate, we can always ask Google, how do we get the area of a circle, right? Area of a circle is, uh, the area is uh, 2 times pi r, actually that's the circumference, the area is actually pi r squared. So whatever your result is going to be, a is going to be pi, 3.1422, etc. Uh, maybe wrong on all those numbers, don't, don't quote me on that, times the radius squared. So this will give us in Python the opportunity to encounter a couple of new things. Uh, and one of them is just like us, it doesn't know anything about math. Now let me take that back. We know a little bit about math. Python doesn't know anything about math, period. So it know, what do I mean by that? Well, if I were to say, hey, you know, I sort of figured out what pi was. I seem to remember pi, you know, and I can see here it's 3.14. I don't know why I said 2, 2. Uh, 159. And that's just rounded up. I mean, nobody's figured out all of pi yet, but it's pretty close. So at least we know that. Python doesn't know that. What do I mean by that? I mean, I don't, I'm not putting Python down. I'm just telling you that Python really doesn't know much about math. So let me come back. And I still have this open. Hopefully you turned in something with a trapezoid. You can copy that and turn that in at the URL, not this one, this one's, this one's mine, turn in yours. And then, let me see, can I go into edit? Well, no, well, let me just create a new REPL. I'm still working in Python and I'm gonna call this one circle. Circle. And I will create that REPL. And I get a new file to work with. And I'll give myself more space as per usual. And then, okay. So what did I say? Pi r square, right? Well, I know that I need to ask the question. And in the uh, chapters here, or rather in the uh, assignment, I sort of should tell you that I tell you, I know it before I told you, you know what I should expect to see, air of a trapezoid, enter the height. Well, if, let's say I'm just gonna stick with circle because it's quick and easy and we can do it, right? So let's see, air of a circle. We know it's pi r squared. And in our program, we're going to need to know the radius from the user. We sort of know what pi is, sort of, you know, but we don't necessarily just want to drop it in there because there's it's there's a way to calculate it to more precise numbers. And uh, Python, although it doesn't know anything about math, can be told about math. So what I mean by that, we're going to do the area of a circle, and I could tell it to print something. The area of a circle. This is our title. Very exciting, right? I can run that right now. The area of a circle. Okay. What else can I tell you? Well, let's see. What else could I tell you? I could tell you that we're going to say at some point, hey, I figured out the area of a circle, right? Area of the circle, whatever it is that we're talking about, circle. And space and a quote and something else, blah, 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 blah. Well, so it presents the area of a circle and then it tells me what the area of the circle is. In, in between, we're going to figure out with math. But first of all, I need to figure out the radius, right? The radius is what? It's what the user is going to give me. That's usually what the, uh, what the user knows is the radius of the circle. And just like I did before, the area of a circle, uh, well, it's not graphically displayed here, but the radius is what? It's actually the distance between the middle of the circle 
and the edge. So what is the radius of a circle? I wish that this class was totally face-to-face -to -face as opposed to online. That way we could have lots of fun on the board and actually do a little bit of math. But so the radius circumference, etc. blah, 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 blah. I'm just looking for a graphical way of doing this. That's the center of the circle, as I said, and here's the radius. It's the length between the center and the uh, circumf the edge of the circle, we should say. So we know that much, right? And we're going to give it an arbitrary number at some point. We're just going to say 5, and we're going to let the Python do the math for us. In the meantime, though, we're still writing this program. We know that pi r squared. So uh, I'll say then radius uh, is equal to, and we're going to input once again from the user input, uh, enter the radius, the circle of the circle, colon. And uh, OK, well, we're doing that radius is equal to the input and as per usual I have to add that we want the integer value so that it gives us a real number and not just a string. Can I get this a little bit larger? I think I can right there. Okay so circle and I open parentheses, open parentheses, open quote, close the quote, close parentheses and I still have one more parentheses to close. So now we're asking the question to give the value of the new variable radius, uh, whatever it is that the user says, enter the radius of the circle and get the integer so that it's now a number. We're going to then print the area of the circle and this is where the math comes in. So I said pi, right? And pi, I said, we can look it up on Wikipedia, we can look it up in lots of places, 3.14 uh, and all those numbers. Well. Python doesn't know about math, but somebody else does, and that's a library that's included in Python, or it's attached to Python, or it can be brought in. How do we bring in a library into Python? We have to tell it to import. So at the very top of my code, and by that I mean before I even print anything, I put in a couple of spaces, and I'm going to tell it to import math. And what happens is then it's going to go and look for the math library and tell Python all about math. Not everything about it, but a whole lot of important things like the value of pi. So that when I say that the area of the circle is going to be pi, I can say area of the circle and I'm going to put in a comma to separate the values of the string. And then I'm going to do the math here and it's going to be pi and times whatever the user put in the radius that's r right i should have said i could have said r but i, was, I called it radius so it's more well defined and then squared so in the uh, contents of the book they'll tell you how to do something to the power it do a variable to the power of something uh, when you square a number it's going to be to the power of two right so the way that you square something or you take it to the power of you put in the asterisk twice so it's sort of like saying times times it's only doing this to the power of 2 and uh, if it's something it's to the power of 2 then it's actually squared uh, pi is not enough by the way because pi if I tell it somewhere along the way by the way pi is 314 3.14 and all those numbers then it would know what pi is but because I'm loading it from a library I need to append the math uh, the math verbiage here so my variable actually it's going to be called math.pi times the radius squared that is to the power of 2 times times 2 do I have this correct I'm not really sure why don't I run it see if I get any errors so enter the radius of the circle and as promised I'm going to put in 5 and then tells me that the area of the circle is 78.5 and all those numbers well how do I know if I'm right well, I don't know. I could do, I guess I could take out a real calculator, but I know that Google is really, really helpful when it comes to that. Uh, and I'll say something like what? Um, area of a circle, right? And just like the other, the other thing that it showed me at some point, area of a circle calculator. So if the radius is, we'll say five, and we'll leave it at centimeters, and calculate, 
tells me that the circle area is 78.539816. How is that when I compare it to mine? 78.539816, etc. So pretty close. So I'd say that this is probably correct. So what happened here is that I showed you that Python doesn't know much about math. It knows even less than I do. So we have to import a library. We have imported the math library. I have told it to tell me that it's going to figure out the area of a circle. And then I said, well, radius is what we're, that's the only thing I'm giving you. It's going to be the integer value that is a real number value of, uh, and not a real number, but rather a number value, not a string. Uh, of the whatever the user inputs as the radius of the circle and then it's going to print the area of the circle that's this text right here and then the math.pi that's the 3.14 etc times the radius uh, squared to the power of 2 and although this may seem a little bit complex out of the way it's not really that much give it a shot with this, play around with the numbers, figure out what's going on. Do a Google search. There's lots of information out there. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time talking about math, but when it comes to uh, radius and circles and things like that, these will come in real handy as you program games in low scale, and especially when you go into the higher end scale, you know, the games that you actually like to play.